Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm in a little bit different spot today. Um, I've decided to come into our conservatory, which is basically like a sunroom or a big plastic box that's stuck on the back of the house because uh, it's a lot lighter in here for videoing because it's still very, very dark upstairs where I normally video. So I may change things around a little bit and do uh, my video in here, but I'm actually on my little work table at the moment with my drawing board on. Um, I've got my diamond paintings uh, underneath there that I'm working on. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is my diamond painting table. Normally it's in my living room in front of the television, but hubby's watching the telly at the minute, so I can't really say it to him, turn the telly off and sit there quiet while I just witter away about diamond painting. So yeah, I've come in here to uh, do an unbagging and this one has just literally arrived and I've had a quick peek and it's the one I've been waiting for because it's another one I need to do for Christmas. Ah, I've got so many piling up for Christmas presents. Um, I think I need a 48 hour day to get them all done. So let's have a look at this one see what it is okay that's the bag emptied get rid of that don't want the rubbish and oh it's all got um everything all at one end so i'm presuming that's all the drills and everything okay it's uh, lots of different colors let's see if i can get this out it's not got enough uh, as much space here either uh, get rid of the crinkly plastic it, it's sliding because i'm on a tilt as well so this possibly wasn't the best idea but we'll give it a shot anyway and see where we get to okay so we've got a oh a basic toolkit with a few little grip seal bags so you've got your pen you've got your wax everything you need to do um yeah okay just your basics Right, this has got very, very creased. We've got a strange dirty mark there. I don't like dirty marks because I always think they've come from factories and they've come a long way. And what's that? So I'll get something on that in a bit. Um, that's your drills. They've all come uh, in little grip seal bags, which is quite nice, like that. Uh, it seems to be quite a standard thing that's happening at the moment. So we'll have a look at those in a second. Let me just... Uh, Try. This is going to take quite a bit of flattening out. It's got some very deep creases and some very deep creases where um, that little toolkit has been sat. Okay, you don't very often. Well, I suppose you do. I think it just all got tipped to one end. Okay, so. Oh, that's got quite a bit of glare on it. I do apologise. That's because I'm in the conservatory. So possibly it's not the best idea to be filming in here. Um, but yeah, we'll persevere with it for now. So this is Squid Games. Woo! I don't know whether you saw the TV series. It's a Korean um, little like mini series. Um, I think they are going to be doing a second series. And it's very brutal. Um quite uh, gory-ish in parts so if you're not used to brutal and you don't like things like that I wouldn't watch it but we really enjoyed it um Hubby and I just absolutely binge watched it more or less as soon as it came on Netflix uh we saw I mean it's a strange name Squid Games I think it's a Korean game that they actually play and it's all about children's games but oh my goodness me I'm glad we don't play children's games like that but yeah it's uh, quite good Quite a, a nice twist at the end. Uh, sadly, we did, guess, we did guess the end. I know, sorry. Um, well, we had an inkling. We went through several different things, but we had an inkling from the beginning as to what was possibly going on. We've watched a lot of horror films. But yeah, um, it's possibly not the best painting. It looks very pixelated. Um, and this is pixel printed as well. It's not uh, picture printed. So you can see where the diamonds um, are all in the little squares rather than it being a picture. Uh, not a, oh, can I get that without, oh, sorry, a bit of glare. Um, we've got training circles or guide circles all the way around it. Um, yeah, so it looks fairly clear. It looks okay. I am sorry about the glare, oh dear. Maybe let's just peel this. Dare I try peeling this back? With, I'll probably stick it to the phone now, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> there you are. Oops. 
oh look at them doing it the wrong way yeah so that's that's pretty good um, it is only a 30 by 40 and it's poured glue so i'm not going to measure it um a because i've forgotten to bring my tape measure downstairs and b because you can see from the size of it it's going to be um about 25 by 35 possibly even 24 because you're losing quite a bit on the edges uh but yeah and i'll put the links down below as to where i got it from um, it's basically this is like the grand master with his gold mask on and then we've got the um, three different workers here uh, well guards with the circle the triangle and the square um, they had different jobs as to what they were and they had them on the masks um, I saw quite a lot of Halloween costumes with these on uh, and one of the um, channels that I watch they actually made one of these masks they bought a sieve uh, a big sieve and they coloured it all in black and then painted it white with the uh, I think they put a square on it I can't remember what shape they put on but it just looked really really good and then just a red hoodie you know you can just make your own uh, really good Halloween costume there so we've got 25 different colours uh, all DMC codes and it looks like they're all numbers and letters uh, let's see let's see We've got a five with no S. Fives and S's really get me to do those. Oh, we've got a symbol there as well. Just one little symbol that they've slipped in. Oh, two symbols. Uh, um, but yeah, they look pretty good. A good, uh, nice little key code on the side there. With all your letters. Sorry, I'm going upside down at the minute. I'm, I will, well, I may or may not use this setup again. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, let's have a quick look at the drills. So they're all pre-bagged, so that's brilliant. With this one only being 25 colours, I will probably work from the bags on this one. Okay. So they're all going to be reds and things. Alright, so what have we got on bags? We have got DMC codes on the bags as well, so that's good. What I will probably do is... Um, photocopy that put it on my uh, scanner scanner bed and print it out so that i've got the symbol on the bags as well um i need as much help as i can get but yeah oh, they're all numbered uh one two twenty five and they're looking pretty good those drills so one two three i won't go through all of them it looks like they've been vacuum sealed as well which is great because they don't take up as much room but yeah, they're all pinks, purples, burgundies, um, reds. We've got some yellows in here for the golds on the uh, faces. So yeah, this is uh, going to be fun to do. Yeah, because we enjoyed it so much, I just thought I'd probably do this one for hubby, just for a bit of daft fun for Christmas. Um, oh, a big bag of, what's that one? 3371? Three, three, okay, yeah, that's like a darkish brownie colour and and the last few yeah so i want to try and get this one done uh, it'll probably only take me probably about maybe four or five nights to just do this because i don't have to kit it up i can just work from the bag so that's good i'm trying to keep these all still in uh, order as well so that i can just work from them but yeah so just a little bit of fun i thought you'd just uh, possibly enjoy seeing this one if you're a squid games fan um yeah we certainly were off I've, I've mucked them up anyway i'll have to put them in order when i put them in my little tray so what i'll do is i'll stand all those up in a little tray um and i'll start in one corner and i shall just work my way around and get that done so once it's completed i will let you see it I'll put it that way around because See, I've not got as much room. I've had to zoom in a little bit because my sides on my desk aren't as well on this little table aren't as big. So, yeah, so just a quick little video to show you a new painting that I've got. So if you've enjoyed seeing this, uh, if you can give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. That's the little but, um, thing down in this corner, the little thumbs up down in this corner. And if you want to come back and see more and see what I get up to next, if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.